Today on the vlog, you guys tuned in for a legendary one. The food battle of all food battles in downtown Detroit. Since the mid-1930s, these two joints have claimed their recipe for a Coney Island hot dog is the best on planet Earth. The makeup is simple. An all-beef, natural casing hot dog on a steamed bun with iconic chili sauce, raw onion, and tangy yellow mustard. It's American Coney Island versus Lafayette Coney Island. Simply, which one tastes better? Me personally, I've done this challenge dozens of times, but for today's video donation, I've recruited my Detroit-born father, Ron, to partake in his first ever Coney Dog Challenge. Today's episode made possible by a duo, a power couple. Give it up for Smith Pines and Murph Male. More clapping. Lafayette versus American Coney Dogs, Detroit. Settle this battle on who's the best Coney Dog. Smith Pines and Murph Molly's. So I have done this challenge. It's one of my favorite things to take people and do. When Allie and I first started dating, I, I took her, we did this, it was fun. My dad has never done the challenge. Have you ever had either of these dogs? I've had them, but now I don't think Consecutively. No, yeah, not this way. To pick the one. So I think what we should do, snag one from each spot, come back to the car, and then I'll give you each one without you knowing which one it is. Think, and maybe there'll be no difference, maybe they'll be very different, and we'll see if you actually have a winner. Does that sound good? That sounds good. Glad you guys are here. Beautiful day to be in Detroit. Every day is a good day in Detroit. Uh, just two ponies. Yeah. Thank you guys. Have a good one. All right, American. Got it. Time for Lafayette. All right, I'm gonna let you use the dining room table. <laughs> what a treat. Right? I gotta get one for guests and for me. Yeah. All right, so what did you think of that experience? I wanna buy one of these. We were in the, each restaurant for less than 60 seconds. Oh, which it was fast. wild. It took longer to walk in than it did to get the food after we ordered. Yeah. Plus, I like their beer selection in there, too. I know. You should put it in different bags, too. So yeah. Give it's me a, in case you get confused. White versus brown, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're soft. They're warm. All right, so we opened the lid. We got beautiful soft bun. Just been steamed. You got your classic hot dog skin on. Lots of onions. Lots of chili and mustard to top it off and they're not too sloppy that you cannot pick it up. All right, close your eyes. I don't want you to know which one you're having first. His eyes are closed. All right, you can open them. Snag that dog, don't look at it too much, and just start feasting. Oh boy. I think to the naked eye, you'd never know that there was a difference, like, visually. You know, like, looking at the two of them. If you lined up five Lafayettes and five American dogs and they mixed them up, I don't think you could pick the five American and then the five Lafayette and like spread them out, you know? I don't think so. Unless they get the meat from a different place, mm -hmm. then how would it be different? Maybe the chili recipe, but it looks very similar. Mm -hmm. There's just such subtle differences. Price is just about exactly the same too. These have gone up in price though in the last couple years. These are 350 each now. It used to be like $1.99 for like most of my life. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's really good. A little bit of uh, bite to the chili, like a hint of heat. Just enough to be a, that it's there? Yeah. There we go, it's a professional. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> That's a classic bite. It's so good. There's just something so refreshing. Even though it's like chili and mustard and onion, there's still a refreshing factor of like, it all goes together so well. The mustard accents the chili really well. It tangs it up. It does. And uh, everything, they look sloppy, but they really do like stay together. Like if yeah. there's a way to eat them and be manageable. It's not making a mess at all. Mm -mm. All right, you ready for your second one? Mm -hmm. Here's the other spot. Look at that. Mm. So this is hot dog number two. Their neighbor, do you notice a difference? I don't know. <laughs> this one just looks a tad different. The hot dog itself, yeah. so there's a little bit different look to it. Yeah. A little longer. Mm. Maybe a little more snap for the dog. Mm-hmm. 
as a visitor to Detroit, the fact that you can go e into each of those places and try these, and they make them in 90 seconds, like less than that, and you're out the door. They both take credit card now. They didn't for the longest amount of time. It's just such a fun experience to pop in here, have a Detroit style Coney, and have from the places that were like, really like they put this on the map. Like Detroit style pizza, Coney dogs, Hani's, like chicken finger pitas and lemon rice soup. Like Detroit's very Greek forward food mm -hmm. <laughs> is so fantastic. A lot of Greek food, food good. I don't know. I think there is a difference. Mm -hmm. Starting to see it now. Every time I come here, I try to re, I try to go from scratch, and I think to myself, all right, try them both. I do a lot of food content online, go in blind, and every time I re-realize one does have more flavor pop and more of a texture to me. Yes. I like that more than the other one. They're both so good. I would never be mad if you gave me a bunch of hot dogs from the one I like second place. You know what I mean? Like they're so good. Look at this. Look, tell me, you're gonna. Somebody could just determine, you really hardly can't without looking at them. No. I mean, if, even if we're looking at them. I know. If I had to know what bag you took them out of, I wouldn't have had any idea. I still don't. They look identical. They do. Except for the hot dog. The hot dog is different. They are. One's a little like leaner and like mm -hmm. more snap. Yes. The other one's he heftier, but a little like, not chewier, but not, just not as much of that texture. Do they grill them or are they steaming them? I'm not sure how they were doing it. I didn't even. They're on the flat top. And they right. constantly move them around. Yeah, so the ones could be cooked a little more. This second one seems it's got a little more pop to it. Yeah, that's a great way to describe it. There's a more, pop, more pop to the second one. Yeah. What a great lunch overall, though, huh? Oh, yeah. So good. Did you grow up eating these? Like, was this something that was in your culture of, like... No. Really? Never did? Well, I'm sure we did because my grandpa and my dad worked downtown for right. many, many, many years. Right. Over at the uh, Penobscot building. Penobscot? Mm -hmm. What a name. It's still there. Great big building. You can see it from in your seats at, at uh, Comerica. Yeah. And you're sitting there. And it was a building, you know, that people rent an office there. Okay, whatever, so okay. that's where my grandpa's office was from that sign that you have now. That yeah, you, the Ely sign that hangs above my, above Editing Bay Sean. <laughs> that was from down here. I think it was on Howard Street. So I'm sure they came down here. Yeah. For lunch or whatever. So we grew up eating like Leo's Coney Island, Senate Coney Island, National Coney Island. Mm -hmm. And now there's a drive through Coney Island in Royal Oak that blew my mind. Like stuff like that. But coming down here and doing this, there's nothing like it to me. Like this is like a reason to come to Detroit if you're a food person, is to try this. They were not shy about me having the camera either. They were like, no, the one, care. the lady from American was actually way nicer and was like, I put some history. I put a little history thing for you. You're amazing, thank you. Oh, thank you. Of the, of the restaurant in the bag for you. Like she was, you know what I mean? Like I love people like that. Yeah. And this place was established in the 1880s. Insane. And that's just amazing in the same location all yeah. these years. Can you tell where I get my love of history from? <laughs> we both do the same thing. It's just incredible to me. It's so fun. Like there's no one else I'd rather be with right now. And there's no other food I'd rather be eating with that person <laughs> right now. Like this is the dream scenario. It is. It is. Get to be here on, on your program with you. Eat some of the <laughs> best food in Detroit. Plus you're my son. Wow. Mm -hmm. We're hitting it all. The only thing we got going bad is the rain, but we're not letting it stop. No, screw that. We're used to bad weather in yeah. Michigan, so. Wait a minute, it'll be sunny. I gotta start my own YouTube channel. Oh, please do. I'll do all the Florida hot dog spots. <laughs> all right, we gotta pick a winner. Hot dog one, which was this. Hot dog two, which was this. We'll snap that off. All right, Ron, uh, Dad, <laughs> Ron, Ron. Ron. Ron, I like Ron. Which hot dog was better? I'm going to say I can't really say which one was better. I'm just trying to determine. Yeah, and if your answer is there's not one better, they're just different, that's also totally fine. I've had a lot of people I've taken, they're like, I don't really, I kind of prefer them both for different reasons. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to say the first one was, or the, yeah. The hot first, dog one. Hot dog one was uh, American. And the second one was Lafayette. <laughs> that's correct. How'd you, yeah. How'd you know that? <laughs> Holy mackerel. I was going to do it the other way around, but just because, but I thought that'd be too obvious that I'd flip it. So I did it how uh -huh. we went in. Why did, how'd you know that? With not even, not even knowing how they taste. I didn't, I mean, it's a 50, 50 grab. I mean, what do you, yeah. so which one was better? I kind of like the Lafayette one better. I mean, not a lot better. It was just a scooch, much. a scooch. 
Scooch on by there. The oh, dog, let me scooch past you. The hot dog had a little bit more of a pop. I don't know if it was because it was on the grill longer. I mean, we're in here at like 1.30 in mm -hmm. the afternoon on a Monday, so they've already had their lunch rush probably. Yeah, they did. I think, I don't know if it was the mustard had a little uh, spice to it, yeah. or it was the chili, but it was a little bit of a kick, hardly any, but mm -hmm. just enough to notice to make it really good. And the buns were identical. They were yeah. steamed perfectly, yeah. and no mess to eat it. Didn't even need a napkin, really. I it's kind of nuts. Still, yeah. So yeah, I would go with the Lafayette, and then the American. Or <laughs> if you had a couple beers, you probably wouldn't. You know, <laughs> you have you know, no it wouldn't matter either way. <laughs> you have a couple Molsons. Just give me four <laughs> conies and a giant Molson, and I'm ready. Everything that you said, I mirror. It's all the reasons I like Lafayette more. I still love American. I think some people are so harsh. They're like, no, screw American. No, like, literally, <laughs> no. It's amazing. I love both so much. Lafayette, you, I'm so glad you said it exactly how I think it. It's got a pop. The snap is obviious a little bit more, but the pop of the flavor, mm -hmm. the mustard to me, too, is a, there's something just a subtly different. I wonder if they put, like, a little chili powder in it something, or something. Something, yeah. Because it looks normal, like it came out of a, out of the squirter, but right. it's a giant tub of mm -hmm. it, like, this big. Right. Yeah, so let us know. If you guys are watching this video and you're familiar with both, which one do you lean toward? Uh, Smith Pines and Murph Males. Uh, I'm so glad that I could confirm that Lafayette is the alpha dog in the fight, but very barely. Like, I think I like it a bad day, like little brother beating big brother. <laughs> <laughs> we love that analogy in Michigan, apparently. My card, I hate you. Um, overall, just such a good launch, and I'm so glad we got to do this. Excellent. Very good. Thank you for suggesting it, too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, this one will go down in the history books on my channel for one of my favorites, so thanks to uh, Smith and Murph. If you guys want to donate to the show, the Venmo, the cash out, the PayPal, it's all right here. You can send what you want me to do, I'll go do it. New video for every single donation that comes into the channel. We're coming up on four months straight, 120 videos in 120 days, which is bananas. I'm starting to get burnt out, but we're going to keep pushing past. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could join you for a few more of these. Yeah, hopefully you can before you leave. So, uh, guys, thank you, and uh, happy hot dogging. You really got to work on the outros. Yeah, that's, that's not that good.